In this video, we are going to continue with the code cleaning progress. Hello, my friend, and welcome to Master Coding Channel, the complete Android developer course. And in this video, we will continue decoupling the codes from the main UI. So what we need to, uh, to do also, we have seen in the previous video that we have coupled, decoupled the UI and the networking sections and networking codes. In this video, I will show you how to decouple the fragment manager. So this fragment manager, this uh, dialog server error dialog fragment will be shown for the user when the user had no internet. So this the 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 one problem is that this dialog is shared between the two the, the activities, the details activities and the list activities. So we need, if we scroll down, we, we will see that the fragment manager is also found here. But what is the problem? So why I can keep, uh, I can keep these two lines. Why I should decouple and make uh, a decoupling of the logic and separation of the codes? This is why. So run the application and I will show you what is the problem. This is our application. So if I, I, if I disable the internet connection, I will disable it. I will close the application and it's working fine. And I run it again. It will display for me the dialog. This is the, the cached. This is cached. It's caching the data. So if I run the application DI, it's not caching, it is uh, exactly, I need to turn off all some by data and exit all everything. Now run the application. It should show us this server dial. But is, what is the problem? So if, I, if the user quote this and reopen the application it will display this dialog click ok and another dialog under the first dialog will be shown and this is a very very common um, bug this is a coding bug so we need to remove this so the user should deal with only one error only one error of dialogues so if I run the application, it will display one. If I quit it and run application again, it will display the two. So I need to remove this error. I will close the emulator and I need to make a sharing this dialogue between all activities. So extracting the dialogue manager logic into a standalone class for that. I need to create a new, I need to, uh, to order and organize my code. So first of all, let me create, I will close this. I will create the package called common. And I will put, I will move the constants to the common refractoring and the server dial error dialog fragment to the common package. So I am organizing the code in order to, to, to understand that these are the common between all activities. So I will create a new Java class. And as I told you, I need to make a dialogues manager manager. This is a standalone class that I need to share between the, the activities, the different activities between the list and the details activity. So whenever a dialogue is shown with a non-empty ID, the provided ID will be stored argument bundle under this key. I will create a key here. Public, sorry public static final 
string and arg arg you meant dialog id so this id as i told you it is an argument id argument dialog id okay now in case activity or fragment that instantiated this dialogues manager are recreated okay so i need to make this object should be used in activities and fragments in order to manage dialog so i will annotate it as ui thread okay and it is imported in the package and i need to create also a, a public a private string final public st a private string dialog fragment tag okay i will copy and paste and post the video in order to make this video more and more faster and we concentrate on the concepts not on the codes so i will also create the two private fragment manager and dialog fragment okay i will import it and dialog fragment also imported the, the classes so we are ready to start making our constructor so i will click alt plus insert the constructor and i need to make the fragment manager so first one is the fragment manager and what we should do with this fragment manager the fragment manager we go to the questions list activity and we see that the fragment manager here is the same and we need to cut it i need to cut the code from here and i will annotate like this we have cut it code from here we have cut code from here okay so I will paste it here and this needs an argument to be passed so I will pass dialog fragment tag okay and I will not use this get support I get I need to make fragment manager this m fragment manager m fragment manager dot find the fragment by id and I'm passing the id of that fragment which is the dialog fragment okay so it's very simple change variable type to fragment manager okay dialog fragment tag okay this is should be not fragment manager which should be the fragment it is telling us with this error so i need to make it as fragment okay and I will remove this fragment. I will import the class. And if we start here by testing, so there might be some dialogue already shown. If fragment manager, fragment with dialogue, this is a fragment manager, I will make it as fragment with dialogue tag okay in order to understand what are these so if fragment tag manager does not equal to null i go, i will go to make the logic here and i need to make also some tests so and dialog fragment fragment dot class dot is assignable form or from and i need to pass the fragment fragment with dialog tag this is the fragment dialog with tag dot get class so what we are do what we are doing is making here the test if it is uh, having a already shown dialog okay so m currently shown 
dialog equal to dialog fragment discussed by this and fragment with dialog tag and it is good to go okay okay it's very simple and these are the strings and the private dialog managers okay now I need to make also dialog fragment here nullable nullable and I need to make public dialog fragment also the constructor get current currently showing dialog this is method and I will return currently showing dialog okay this is we are this is the dialog that it's shown and it's currently shown I need to copy and paste another uh, method this is called get currently shown dialog ID and I am passing if currently and then I'm testing if currently shown dialog equal equal to null and get arguments equal to null so it will not display and it will return the uh, the empty string otherwise it will get the string of argument dialog ID okay I need to copy and paste also one method it's called is dialog currently shown I will import the text utils and we are good to go also I need to make another method it's dismiss currently shown dialog which is uh, th that suggests and that ob uh, make obligatory to uh, to close and force closing of any dialogues that we have already displayed okay Also, show retain dialog with ID. I will need to pass the four parameters dialog uh, fragment and the nullable string ID. Dismiss currently shown dialog. It is, this is the method that it's called. And dialog set retain instance. Set ID and show dialog. These are the two methods, the last two methods that I need to create in this class. And I will paste it them here. So set ID would have the bundle. I will import the package, import the class, and get arguments. And it is if it is equal to does not equal to null. Otherwise, go and get a new uh, bundle, make new bundle, which is the capacity of it. It is equal to one. The arguments dot put the string, put the string of arguments dialog and pass the ID, and dialog set arguments to args. Show dialog. These are the showing of the dialog. Okay, it's very simple. This is our class that we have created, and and I have missed not ID. It is equal to tag. Okay, and I'm passing the dialog fragment tag, and this is the created uh, class. It's called dialogs manager. So how to use this dialogs fragments? We go back to the main activities and the, the questions list activities and we create an instance of this class and we will use it in the place that we have moved and removed the, the code. Okay. So here for dialogue fragments. As I told you, private dialogues fragment or fragment manager, dialog manager, manager equal M dialog manager. Okay, it's good. So this is the instance that we are going to use. I will scroll down to the onCreate and I need to make here 
the dialog manager and m dialogs dialog manager equal to new dialogs manager dialogs manager and I get supported fragment manager okay that passed as parameter okay it's very simple guys and where we've got and where we have cut the code we scroll down to on fetch questions uh, on fetch of questions failed and we need to pass and use the uh, dialog okay so I have cut the code from here I will replace it with m dialogs manager dot show retained dialog with id and i will pass server the error dialog fragment with new instance new instance and i will pass the id as a empty string okay it's very simple what i have made i have created a standalone class it's called dialogs manager and this dialogs manager allows me to use it for different uh, with, uh, different activities without making redundancy of the code and repeating of the code so again i need to go to the questions uh, uh, questions details activity so questions list and the questions details questions details where is questions details details questions so questions detail activity and in the same way i need to decouple the the already made um, dialogues so questions detail activity list the activity it is done and i need to questions to make the same with the questions here I need to create a private dialog manager dialogs manager and dialog manager and I will scroll down to the on create on create this is here dialog error I will create m dialog for manager equal new dialog manager and I will pass get supported fragment manager okay so in this case I need to decouple the code of the error so I will remove this and I will put m dialogs manager dot show retain dialog with un, with ID and I will pass the server error the the class that I need to create from it the dialog and I will pass the ID as an empty string so let's save our project and let's run our application and that here is our application it is displaying for us the server error uh, box and if I run the application again it will display me one dialog okay so thank you guys I hope you uh, benefit from our video and we are now ready to start uh, and we are making clean architecture in order to understand the dependency injection and start using Dagger for dependency injection so uh i hope you benefit from our videos i hope you rate us five stars on udemy and support us by subscribing to our youtube channel thank you guys see you in next videos next videos